Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is VoIP edition of LZH Project video series. Yes, you heard me right. It's VoIP edition. Voice over IP. So, in this edition we will cover VoIP basics and how to install a VoIP server and deploy it for home or office use. Uh, we will be covering installation and basic configuration and I hope that by following this course uh, you guys will get a basic understanding as how to set up VoIP servers and earn some profit out of it. So let's start. Uh, VoIP server which we are going to use is Elastix and in order to download it uh, we need to go to a website called elastix.org. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you open your web browser and type elastics.org, press enter, and it will take you to this website. From here, um, you'll go to this download elastics, press uh, enter. And from here, Well, after some time, it will show you this, uh, the versions available. So, here's the downloads. Oh, here it is. So, here. Uh, this is 32-bit and 64-bit version. Let me clarify you, uh, like, what are these two different versions. One is Elastic's Empty and the other is for basic uh, users okay okay just a moment yeah so this is 2.5.0 is for most companies where you just want a single instance of elastics and this elastics empty is for service providers as it's written over here and here you can install uh, uh, different uh, domains or different companies you can set up multiple companies in single uh, elastic server so I would recommend this for the starters uh, elastic 2.5.0 I have already um, downloaded it so once you uh, like you are just going to click here select your version 32 bit or 64 bit and once you click it it will take you to source force page from where it will automatically download to your computer okay once you have downloaded this uh, I'm going to set up in my virtual machine so you already yeah I hope you can see my virtual machine screen okay from here uh, you will just uh, go to settings and storage and here uh, you can set up this Elastics ISO which you have already downloaded Okay, press enter and then let's start. Okay, so it will bring you with this screen and then you just press to install or upgrade in graphical mode, press enter to install or upgrade in text mode, plus uh, like type Linux text. So I'll just go with Linux text. Okay, let's wait. Okay, so the first screen you will see is uh, what language would you like to use? And here I'm going to select English, press enter. What type of keyboard do you have? It's US. Okay, press enter. And we wait. Okay, so it's saying that the partition the partition table on device HDA was unreadable to create new partition. 
it must be initialized okay yes okay use free space remove all in exportations and yeah because it's a new partition so I just don't worry about this okay you have chosen to remove all partitions yes review I don't want to review but you can review if you want to review you can look at this okay back okay uh oh I need to just go back I selected this okay remove all partitions this and then okay are you sure yes I'm sure review no this time I'm good would you like to configure each zero network interface in your system yes okay activate on boot uh, enable IP4 IP6 I don't want to press OK dynamic I don't want dynamic I would go with manual 192.168.1.100 let's say uh, or 200 okay prefix is 24 bit because I'm using class C IP address press OK gateway is 192.168.1.1 and guys one more thing I would like to mention here is that I'll be also uh, posting network edition of our LZH project soon then there is going to be cloud edition so you just uh, keep watching our YouTube channel like us on our Facebook it's facebook.com forward slash Linux King 77 uh, we have launched our Facebook page yesterday so okay so DNS I'm going to use Google's DNS and secondary as Google as well press OK if your system is part uh, part of large network where host names are assigned by DHCP now I just go with manual okay so our host name is going to be wipe okay okay you can choose whatever you like and my system clock is going to be an Almaty Kazakhstan okay okay password is you can select your strong password I'll just go with my simple one and then we wait okay now I'm going to pause the video it might take some time and I'll be back shortly okay guys our installation is complete and the system is restarting so just need to wait for a while You don't have to worry about this error, van pipe. So, okay. Okay, now it's asking for the MySQL password. You can provide a strong password here as well. Okay. 
confirm the password this is for free PBX admin uh, basically Elastix is a combination of many open source uh, softwares uh, you can find here free PBX which is the core of uh, this PBX uh, then there is MySQL then there is for database uh, CRM VTiger CRM then there is open fire and we'll uh, I'll just uh, let you know, like we can we will explore elastics as we go along so just give a strong password for free pbx admin it's really important and <clears throat> what you can expect from this course is uh, you would be able to install VoIP server uh, you can use it uh, for your home office you can earn some money out of it by installing it or working as a freelancer uh, we will try to uh, find how to troubleshoot uh, some uh, scenarios and uh, we will try to configure a basic telephony system uh, on our computer and we will try to connect branch offices uh, with this server so um, like let's uh, move on and you'll find what we will do in this series so I'm just going to log in as root give my password and you can see that I can access this uh, to access your elastic system using a separate workstation open open the internet browser okay I'm going to use my slackware box and I'll just go to HTTP 192.168. Oh, sorry, 1.200. Okay, click continue. And here we have it. Okay, so the username is, let me check. okay so the username is admin and the password is the password you provided for root okay so this uh, once you enter the password and username it will bring you to this page it's a dashboard and you can see that various options uh, like tabs here dashboard network users shutdown hardware detector update but the main uh, tab is this PBX like one of the main and we will be doing most of our configuration here so and the system will tell you what kind of system we have and this hard drive availability and uh, usage okay so that's it this is the first video and in this video we have installed elastic server and we have accessed it through our slackware box so just subscribe to my youtube channel like our facebook page uh, and hope to see you soon in our next video thank you for watching goodbye